make sure you guys check out www.procivic.com for all your 9th gen and civic needs. And also make sure you guys check out www.blinkingbrakelights.com for blinking brake light tail bulbs, which can help you better be seen and safe out in traffic. Use the code GOT10 at checkout for 10% off. What's going on, guys? This is your boy Gata Maliga. I'm here as part of the Blinking Brake Lights team to give you guys a tutorial on how to install your LED headlights on your 2014 to 2015 Civic Si. Or it's just a general installation video for possibly any other vehicle. But Gata Maliga, I don't have a 2014 or 15 Civic. Like I said, it's a general installation video. Every single car has its own quirks, but with this installation video, it'll kind of give you a basic idea of what you need to do on your vehicle to install these properly. Let's go ahead and pull my Civic SI into the garage and let's get this install started. So as you guys can see, this is my 2015 Civic SI Coupe. Her name is Clementine and we're going to be working on her today. We're going to get these LED headlights installed. And then, we're going to see how it looks. When you order your headlight kit, it should come on at least three things. Your resistors, the bulb itself, and an adapter if need be. My, my specific car needs an adapter in order for it to work. So, let's, let me show you what you're going to need to make this install possible. So you're going to need a general tool set. And also, you're going to need your blinking brake lights LED headlight bulb kit. Like I said, usually comes with the bulb, the adapter, and the resistors. So from the looks of it, it looks like to me that we're actually going to have to take off the headlight assembly itself in order to make this install as simple and as easy as possible. So that means I'm going to have to get rid of the front bumper in order for me to get to the screws that are on the headlight assembly itself. It's an unfortunate thing, I wish it was a little bit more simpler than this, but with this crowded engine bay, this is possibly the only thing I can do right now. So let's take off the front bumper. So as you guys can see. I got my car lifted up just a little bit. My car is really low, so in order to take the front bumper off, I need to take a few things. Uh, I need to lift the car up a little bit. So, um, if you have some jack stands and a jack, that would really help. The way I did it is I put my car on top of two planks, and then I have some bricks, some button bricks laying around. I just put them on top of the bricks. Um, but if you're gonna do something like that, uh, make sure your car is in gear. So, as an extra layer of safety, always put the e-brake on. And another thing is always have safety glasses so let's put them on there we go that's all there is to it so whenever you're working under your car you always have to have safety glasses because things can get in your eye trust me um, I've been down that road before and it sucks so let's take the front bumper off So in order to take off the Civic headlight on a coupe, you take this bolt off, it's a 10 millimeter. Then you gotta get an extension because it's really tight in here. You get an extension, it's another 10 millimeter here. I forgot to mention there's a third bolt, 10 millimeter, located right next to the Phillips head that you have to remove, which holds the bumper onto the fender. Okay, and then you lift up and then it slides out. But make sure you take off the connectors because you can break them, so be very careful when pulling the, the headlight out. So now that we got the headlight out, let's get the install ready. So now that we got the headlight up here ready to be messed with, everything else is pretty much simple. So I believe this is a twist. Okay, so you twist and take it out. Okay, so this is the main headlight we're gonna be um, changing today. Once again, do not touch this bulb because the oils in your hand can make them wear out faster. So. All you need to do is twist and pull that right on out. So let's go grab the new headlights. Two thousand years later. This is like a couple of days later. 
because uh, accident on accident, Jeff sent me the wrong size for the car. So as you guys know, how to tell you, I already went through the process of taking apart the front end of the car. So um, it's three bolts one more time, one here, the other on the side, and one up here. And then make sure you take off these uh, connectors for the headlight, daytime running lights, and high beams, and then the blinkers. And then um, on this side, it's actually a little bit different. Surprisingly enough, um, I actually had to snip a zip tie that was uh, grabbing onto the housing. I, you know, I have no use for this, so I just snapped it off uh, because I, I honestly feel like it's useless. So, yeah, everything is off right now on the car. You can see the front end is completely taken apart. Um, and my jerry-rigged horn is still here, still working nice. Which is, you know, it's always nice to have, you know, that setup, that horn setup that I had earlier working. Um, if you missed that video, I'll link that on the top right-hand corner of your screen right now and in the description. So here we have the two headlights, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and take off the bulbs for these headlights and show you what you need to do. So when you open this up, this is what you're going to get in the box. These are size H11s, okay? The, the size that he sent me was 9006, and 9006 actually fits in my mom's Honda Odyssey. So I might do the 9006 LED headlight install video on my mom's Honda Odyssey uh, to come. If you want to see that, drop it in the comments below. Also to let you guys know that the 2015 Civic SI, it does not need a headlight resistor to work with this setup. You can directly plug in the headlight bulb to the adapter and the adapter to your harness and it should work just fine. On other vehicles, it can be different. Other vehicles require resistors, this one does not. Well, after your setup looks a little bit something like this, let's head over to the headlight real quick because we need to go ahead and remove the the bulb that comes in the housing of the headlight. So this is gonna be the one you're gonna be removing. So in order to remove it, it's just twist and push out. In order to put the blinking brake lights LED head bulb into the housing, it's really simple as you would to take it out as well. So it goes in like this. So it's simple, twist, and there you go. It's in the housing. So let's go ahead and do this to the other one and then toss this in the car. Now, I want to let you guys know beforehand, connect your headlights, the, head, the headlight bulbs, the resistors, and the adapters to the harness first, because when you connect it to the harness first, you, tur you turn the, the accessories on, turn the headlight on, you're going to see if it works. If it does not work on one side, there's not an issue, just take the connector off, flip it to the other side, and then connect it back in, and it should work. Please do that before the headlight housing's in. Trust me, I just now learned my lesson. I learned my lesson before with the blinking brake lights and I would hate for this to happen to you after you install this headlight housing and everything. Cause this headlight housing to take off and you know, again, it's a really tedious process. So make sure that you have the headlights connected first and make sure that they're working before you put everything back together. So just as a quick side note, Please make sure that you have the resistors away from anything that is plastic, wiring. The resistors can only come into contact with metal. The resistors get extremely hot and it can melt plastics, it can melt wire, wiring harnesses. Believe me, I learned my lesson and trust me, I took the resistors off of my car before it could do any real damage, but a partially melted intake tube and a partially melted headlight housing isn't really a big deal to me, but please make sure that if your car needs resistors, to have the resistors only come into contact with metal. There we go. And then you just slide it on in easily. Nice. It is, and then there's a, a little locking tab right here. And once that tab's lined up, locked in place, everything should be just fine. So. That's one side done. Let's go get the other side. Go. Nice and in. So now that the headlights are installed on the car, time to bolt the, the headlight housing itself back into the car and then put everything back together. So let's get that process started. Then you get the one on this side, just down here. Finally, 
you get the really tricky one, which is located right under, right above the crash bar, right in there. The one I showed you earlier. You're gonna put the bolt in your tool, and then very, very gently, snake your tool right on in, right until the bolt catches, so. And then, take it like that. So, this side's done, let's go to the other. And, is that side done? So now it's just a case of putting the whole front end back together, and then you're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera, because I've already taught you guys how to remove the front bumper on these cars before. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the car, and then we're gonna see the headlights working. <laughs> You see, yes, you really wanna be once I be off the Xanax, what a back, what I be teed up Felicia, told her about Felicia Shorty way too bad, just hit my DM, girl, I peeped her Hey, Keisha Oh, Alicia, your man can't be the plug because I saw my this way cheaper. Give me two more years and I'ma pull up in a beamer. New balance on my sneakers. Balling way too hard, I never been up on the bleachers. Smoking way too much, man, I've been geeked up. Bitches see the pack and try to prove why they a keeper. Tia, I be off the reefer. Trying to touch it, then we're done rapping. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed that little install video, and hopefully, that was a little bit helpful. Like I said, if you guys want a pair, the link will be down in the description. So www.blinkingbrakelights.com. Once again, special thanks to Jeff. And like this video. Subscribe if you enjoy my content. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. That's down in the description below. This has been your boy, Gata Maliga. And I'm out. Peace.